Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mastering Retaining Walls and Shoring Systems using Plexus 2D. This is tutorial number 16 and in this uh, tutorial we are going to simulate a deep excavation supported by a reinforced concrete depth from wall using Plexus uh, 2D. So as you can see in uh, this uh, figure we are going to simulate uh, this example. Uh, we have uh, three layer soil uh, which is uh, which are dense sand, medium dense sand and also we have 1.5 uh, fill above uh, the medium dense sand and uh, we already for example we have the, uh, we have this uh, surcharge load and we assume uh, there is uh, an existing uh, structure uh, is here and uh, this uh, surcharge uh, loads comes from uh, this structure and we will uh, build uh, a new basement for example uh, near uh, this existing uh, structure so uh, we should uh, we should use a retaining uh, structure to uh, support uh, this excavation and also uh, the existing uh, structure as well so in uh, this example we will uh, use a diaphragm wall and in this uh, example you will learn uh, uh, a hardening soil model so in uh, situations in uh, simulation of deep excavation in uh, Plaxis 2D or 3D uh, the most uh, suitable uh, soil constitutive models is hardening soil model because it has uh, three uh, elasticities uh, but in uh, other constitutive models like a mohair column we only have one uh, single elasticity but in uh, this uh, hardening soil model we have uh, three elasticity uh, especially the unloading reloading elasticity because uh, for example uh, if you uh, and take a look at uh, this example when we when we start excavation behind uh, uh, the or in front of the diaphragm wall the soil in here will uh, face unloading a situation uh, that's why it is uh, necessary to use hardening soil model in uh, uh, simulation of excavation in plexus or in any other uh, software we will also you will also learn about the watering uh, as you can see in this example the water uh, table is located four meter below the ground level and our uh, excavation will be six meters so we will need to uh, lower uh, the water table in excavation area as you can see in here and uh, we will also use a strut as a support uh, uh, to uh, prevent the lateral movement of the of uh, this uh, diaphragm wall. So uh, you will also learn what is strut and uh, what kind of material and sections are used uh, for uh, for using as a strut or prop, and also how we can uh, simulate uh, this kind of. Uh, support element in plexus uh, 2d so the diaphragm wall is uh, 10 meters uh, high and our excavation will be 6 meter so uh, the embedded length of uh, diaphragm wall will be 4 meters and uh, the thickness of the diaphragm wall is 0 0.5 uh, meter So uh, in Plaxis, we will uh, simulate uh, like uh, the following uh, steps. Uh, first of all, we assume we have uh, this initial phase and we don't have any search at all. We only have uh, three soil layers and uh, uh, in this uh, initial phase, uh, the geostatic uh, stresses are calculated and after uh, that, we will apply a surcharge uh, load which is comes from an exi existing structure and uh, after uh, so we assume this a uh, first phase and after uh, this uh, phase we will construct a diaphragm wall 
and uh, the width of the excavation will be uh, 5 meter and we will use a plain strain in plexus uh, 2D so uh, after construction of a uh, diaphragm wall we will have a first excavation so we will uh, do the excavation in two steps uh, and we will excavate uh, 3 meters at each uh, step so in the first excavation we will excavate until uh, or we will excavate uh, 3 meters uh, below the uh, ground level and after uh, the first excavation we will uh, install a strut uh, and the strut is located 2 meters below the uh, ground level and after installing the strut, strut we will uh, lower the water, the water table uh, to 1 meter below uh, the whole excavation so the whole excavation was 6 meter and we will lower the water table uh, 7 meter below the ground level so after uh, that we will have a final excavation so we will excavate another uh, 3 meters and it will be uh, 6 meter now and uh, this is a final uh, construction phase in Plax's uh, 2D and in the last uh, phase it will be similar to the uh, phase uh, 6 but in this uh, construction phase we will apply a stability analysis and uh, calculate the safety factor for uh, this uh, example okay so what is uh, strat as you can see in uh, these uh, figures uh, it is a support element used uh, to prevent uh, uh, lateral movement of uh, the retaining structure and the soil and uh, it can be made from uh, a timber uh, pre-stressed concrete as you can see in here or a steel uh, also it can uh, it can be uh, different uh, steel cross section like a steel pipe and i-beam uh, etc uh, so uh, the, this type of uh, strats generally used in deep excavation as I mentioned before to support a retaining structure and prevent lateral uh, wall deflection also in uh, metro uh, station uh, as a breast uh, excavation and uh, also for a temporary uh, excavation when uh, a steel sheet piles are used general for temporary excavation and uh, these struts are uh, used in these conditions as well right now and uh, as you can see the safety factor is about 1.44 uh, uh, and total uh, displacement you can see this is a failure uh, surface uh, for uh, this example for uh, this safety factor so if you want to see